Do you believe in God overall? You believe there is God, yeah? The creator of the heavens and the earth, yes? So do you know what, what is the purpose of our creation? What are we doing here? What do you think? Yeah, what do you think? That's all? Like eating, drinking, reproduction, that's all? Is that the purpose of our life? Animals do a better job than this, you know that? So then what's the purpose? Then we should have a deeper meaning for our existence, correct? Because we could decide, us as a human being, we could decide certain things, certain decisions, and it will have impact worldwide, correct? That means since the tasks, since our impact is big, the same thing, the purpose of our existence has to be, has to be big as well, compared to the other, compared to the other creatures. Yeah? can be if you want to. Yeah. If, not if we want to. We want, we, we're again here, because again, going back to the same reasoning, if our, our decision, yeah, our own decisions as a human being, will have impact not on us as a human being, on everything around us. Yeah? So that means our, our, our impact of our is very severe. Yeah? Could harm, could destroy the world, and it could bring tranquility and peace, whatever. Yeah? So that means our tasks or our, the purpose of us being here, has to be, it has to have a deeper meaning compared to the other creatures. And this is by reasoning, by the way. That's a choice. Okay. How, why am I saying this? Like, suppose the other way around. Now, there is, by the way, uh, 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 did you study any, any, have you been to college, have you been to, you know? Yeah. Okay. So we know in the, in the uh, for example, at schools or, for example, certain colleges, they will divide the students according to their, what you call it, study group, yeah? And the one, you don't compare someone who is, like, low level in terms of certain things, and you compare with someone who is very, in a high level. That's why they do this study group. You know that? You know that? Do you know that? Or you don't know? The, they have different... Study groups in the same class. Yes. Yeah, Why? It's based on the ability of each one. So the one who is that's more, that's more according, advanced... According to the school, whoever the school wants. Generally, that's how it is, yeah? So the point is, yeah, the point is many people, they will go with that because of the, of the severity of the, for example, some people who will have, uh, their decision is going to have more impact or or their efforts are going to have more impact, that's why they divide them according to it. So similarly, as, as us as human beings, and compared to other creatures, yeah, our decisions and our, we are, we have very, we are very complex race, yeah, so, and our decision is very severe sometimes, and, uh, you know, that's why our task is different than others. Now, since there is a creator, and he, this creator has created us as a human being, we have to, dis we have to think about what is the purpose of our creation? It, def it is definitely not only eating and drinking and reproduction, because there is something deeper than that. We are able to communicate. We are able to have these, these you know, we, we are able to write things. We are able to develop, to develop things. We are able to save things. We are able to destroy things. Wonderful things. Yeah, we can do wonderful things. So then, this God, this great God, what is the, what did He create us for? What? Wonderful things. Exactly. And this, this wonderful thing, don't you think, the name is Kalam, yeah? Don't you think, Kalam, since there's the Creator, don't you think the minimum that we should appreciate this Creator, to be thankful to this Creator? Of course, that's natural. Okay, good. How we be thankful to this Creator? In which way? Grace. How? The Creator, not the creation, the Creator. How to show your, grateful, your gratitude and your gratefulness to the Creator? By your actions, about how you speak, how you walk, how you treat. This is with others. I'm talking to the Creator. What do you, what do you mean? I'm speaking to you. No, I'm saying, how do you show your gratitude to the Creator? Since there is a Creator, you cannot see Him. You cannot, he's not, you cannot see Him with your own eyes. You cannot hear Him with your own ears. But you know there is a Creator for the universe. How do you show your gratitude to this Creator? Give thanks to your life. To the life. But the life is his creation. Again, you are, you are giving thanks. thanks for his creation. So what I'm, I'm asking about the creator. You know, I will tell you something. Being grateful to the creator is submitting your will to his will. And that is Islam. Islam means submitting 
your will to the will of your creator. That's what is Islam. So, and that's what Islam is proposing. And that includes everything that we do, including that. And that's why part of his will, he has sent prophets and messengers, one after another. Many prophets and messengers, one after. All of them, they came to convey his message to us. And in all his message, all the time, he would keep saying to us that you need to submit your will to my will. And that is the meaning of Islam. So Islam is about that. So when you said, which is the true faith? Now we came to conclusion, me and you, Kalam, now, that submitting to our will to the will of the Creator is the way to showing our gratitude to, to this Creator. And that is what is Islam is about. Now, does that make sense to you that Islam is kind of has the truth compared to the other. I agree with you, but you say, if you submit to the Creator, then that's Islam. The desires and the desires of the perfect. I accept and respect Islam 100%. So you're willing to go But then you said there's just so other beliefs that within be that, line with which then I don't, I don't believe. If you say that the, there's messengers and prophets. Okay, now again, now here, how we know now, since there is a Creator, how this Creator communicated to us, in which way? Which way that he has come into like Yeah, yeah, but I will come to you. There, there is a belief system, but now this belief system, it has to have a, a, a proof and has this proof that it should have standards for us to accept. If it doesn't meet these standards, that is not true, basically. So it has to have said, we know, how is it? For example, now for example, the book that you have is the Quran or translation of the Quran, yeah? God has sent Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, 1400 years ago. Of course, the Quran has rules, regulations, things like this, belief system, as you mentioned. But as well, the Quran that you have, it has as well something called scientific fact. Things beyond any doubt. Do you want to have date, by the way? Well, this is true. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Zakallah khair. Yeah? There are in the Quran something called scientific facts. When I'm saying facts, I'm showing you studied some science, correct? Yeah. Now, is it possible for someone who lives 1400 years ago? to know about details that's happening in the cosmos, in the space. Is it possible? Yeah, anything is possible. Anything. There could be dragons. I'm talking about reasonable things. With our own reasoning. Reasonable. I don't know what is reasonable. Reasonable things that things could happen, yeah, with the tools that they have at that time, in order for them to discover what's happening in the space. Discovered countries they didn't know existed and land. No, I'm not talking about I'm talking about the space. I'm not talking about the land. I'm talking, I'm talking about the earth. I'm talking about the space. No, no, anything is possible. I don't put a limit on anything. In the history, there is nothing at all that someone will know things in the space. And this is discovery. It was discovered lately. The discoveries of the space. For example, when you look to the when you look in the night to the stars, yeah, you do you see the stars now? Yeah. Now? Currently? Oh, right now. In the yeah. No, I can't. You see them? No, I'm talking about when you look to the stars in the night. You see them at the current form or you see them millions of years ago? No? Basically, these stars are millions of light years away from us, correct? Yeah. So when the light departs from that star until it reaches your eyes, that star is not there at this moment. It will be, could change its position to another place because the universe is expanding or could turn into a black hole you know, it dies, could, anything could happen, yeah? yeah? But definitely, it's not. when you look there, it's not there. She, it's, the, the star is not there. Now look at this. And this is discovered recently. This is discovery, it's a recent thing, yeah? So these, there are two facts. Firstly, the stars, what you look in the sky, is the position of the star. Millions of years ago, it's not the star itself. Secondly, that that star already changed its position before the universe is expanding. So we have two things, yeah, which is discovered less than 200 years ago. Now, the amazing thing, that this book, 1400 years ago, was revealed to Muhammad, peace be upon him. And 
Muhammad peace be upon was illiterate man, was unable to read and write. He doesn't have access to the knowledge of his time, let alone to the knowledge that yet to come. And yet, it says in the Quran, فَلَا أُقْسِمُ بِمَوَاقِعِ النُّجُومِ وَإِنَّهُ لَقَسَمٌ لَوْ تَعْلَمُ عَظِيمٌ Meaning, when God make an oath by something in the Quran, it means something that's worth to think. So God said, I will not make an oath by the positions of the stars. And it's a great oath, but you are not yet aware of it. Saying to the people at that time, you are not yet aware of what's happening, what's the meaning of the position of the stars. But at that time, people believed. Because, as you mentioned, it's a belief system. But now, with our tools and our discovery, we discovered that literally, when you, looked in the, when you look in the night to the stars, you literally, you see the positions of the stars, you're not seeing the stars. Who taught Muhammad about this fact? Adding to this, that that, that star has already changed. We have another as well verse in the Quran. We have created the heavens and we are expanding. It. So the universe is expanding. Who taught Muhammad about this fact? An illiterate man living in the Arab Peninsula 1400 years ago. How does he know about these facts? And he claims these facts not from me, came from God who has sent me. And the Quran is full of these things, full of these things. And I'm saying to you, things that with your own reasoning, to know this faith, it cannot be come from other than God. And not just that. For example, you've been to the sea. What is the deepest point any diver could dive 1400 years ago? 50, 50 meters? Can he dive more than that? With the tools at that time, can, is there a tool? Can someone would know what is going, what is going on inside the, the, the bottom of the ocean? Come on, be reasonable. How, how can I tell I wasn't from that time? With the things that we know, when we have developed the, developed the submarines and things like this, which goes in the ocean, only recent thing, correct? Yeah, but it doesn't mean they can't have it different ways. Well, there are, again, if there's different ways, we will see it. We have the history, many things have been recorded. We know what's in yet. So. Yeah. From what we know, now God has said in the Quran, those who are away from the guidance of God, like someone who's deep in the bottom of the ocean, above him there is a wave, above the wave there is another wave, above the sea there is a cloud. Even if he took his hand out of his pocket, he will be unable to see it. Darkness upon darkness, and whomever God didn't give them the light of guidance, then will have no light. So here, so here, we have, here we have, God has mentioned about detailed darkness. When the sunlight comes to the earth, and if it's a cloudy weather night now, for example, 40% of the light will be reflected back, and only, and 60% will go through. If there is, people used to appreciate and to see the surface waves, fine. And if there are surface waves, the surface waves will, the, the waves will break the light. Yeah? So only half of that will go through. Yeah, people used to see that. No one would know deep in the ocean until recently a discovery. They, they, they knew something deep in the ocean. They travel by waves which they are called the sea current. And in some areas, they will find two types of seas. A sea and another type of sea with a different uh, uh, texture, yeah? With a different salt measurement, etc. And even though there is a barrier between them, and God has mentioned about this fact as well, that Maraj al Bahrain al the two seas are meeting. They have barrier between them, they don't mix. Meaning, they don't mix. Still, there is a barrier. You can see on this side is like dark blue, on this side you can see brownish. And yet, there is as if a barrier between them. And you could just Google it and then you'll find many, many places. Even deep in the ocean, there are things like that. And that live, that or the sea current which travels by waves. It will break whatever remains from the light. So deep in the ocean, if someone took his hand out of his pocket, he will be unable to see it, even like that. At the time, people used to think the eye could see by itself. Who taught Muhammad about this fact? Is this a coincidence? Can it be a coincidence? You can just see yourself. You said you can go and see now. Now, where? You just told me you can go and see for yourself. What do you mean? Yeah, and that's what I'm talking about the barrier, the barrier of the sea. The barrier of the sea, that's true. Deep in the ocean, no one would know until, until recently. That's a new discovery. 
with a submarine, yes. But they didn't have submarines that time. You need to go, I'm talking about a kilo, uh, 1,000 meters or more than that just to see what's going on that, down there. That's no. what I'm saying, but we don't know that. We don't know how they... No one knows. I'm saying, I'm, t I'm saying, I'm talking about an illiterate man in the 1400 years ago bringing these things. And there is more than that. And we found the Quran, even the development of the fetus in the womb of the mother, yeah. how it developed. Go to Muhammad about it. Look, 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 the way that it is, it cannot be said by someone who, you know, someone who lived 1400 years ago. And this, all, all of these are new discoveries to us as a human being. So that shows there is something there in the Quran. This something came from the Almighty God. And since me and you agreed, the religion of God, if there is a religion of God, it has to be submitting to his will. Or, let's say, you agreed that we should be, we should be, you know, submitting our will to his will, correct? Said that if there's a creator, you said that is Islam. Yeah. It doesn't mean that. If there is a creator, if there is a, yeah. I don't agree with Like what? You said the stories are unbelief. You said this happened. I don't get it. Which one? Yeah. You're telling me like it's like a story. No, I'm not telling you a story. I'm talking about fact. Okay. Scientific You're fact. It's a, fact. It's a scientific okay. fact. It's, it's, a it's a proven fact. Okay. Do you know what means a proven fact? Yes. Yeah. Means scientists, scientists prove it's a fact. It's a fact. I'm not, I'm not bringing you theories. I'm saying to you, fact. Beyond any doubt, it's a fact. Just like the sun rises from the east is a fact. We're talking about facts here. Science fact. Physics, chemistry, facts. Cosmology, facts. I'm not talking about things, I'm talking about facts. So these facts was mentioned in the Quran 1400 years ago by an illiterate man who claimed it didn't come from him, it came from the one who created it. Is it something worth? You're saying that it came from a person that claimed something else, which is a belief system. Again, you see here, I'm not saying to you Islam is not a belief system. I didn't claim Islam is not a belief system. I said Islam is a belief system because there are certain things there are certain things our, our mind couldn't go further. So there are things, and we rely, if that book is the truth, then whatever in that book is the truth, basically. And the amazing thing in this book, in the very second chapter, which is the very second page, Allah says in the Quran, This book has no doubt, and it's guidance for those who seek piety, has no doubt. Beyond any doubt, beyond any doubt. So this is what God claims in this book. So that's why we urge you to read, to discover yourself, to look into Islam and to see what Islam is about. And then we are here every Sunday. If you want to come and have a discussion with us, it will be good. That's something which is good as well. What if I'm already doing all the things already? But I didn't, which one? I didn't have the book. What is it? But what are the things? So say I'm already living a good life. I'm happy. I'm we are not, we are, you should know since this life is limited and since, since this is going to eventually finish, we're going to die eventually. And if we die, and as I mentioned, we need to know what's, what's going to happen on the other side. What's happening on the other side, the hereafter, which is scarier than about living good life. Many tyrants lived good life here. Genghis, Genghis Khan lived good life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he killed millions. You know? People, criminals, war criminals, Al Capone, things like they live good life. Yeah. It doesn't mean if they live good, good life, it means that they are, they, they are upon the truth. Good life is nothing, means nothing, because this life is temporary. This life yeah. is limited, and eventually we're going to die. But the other life, which is the hereafter, is only granted for those ones who follow the truth from God. Yeah, that's all. So that's what we are saying to you. Read. We ask Allah. Allah in Arabic means, means the one God, by the way. Okay. Yeah? We ask Allah to guide you to the right path. So hopefully, you read, you will understand, and you come. And we are here anytime for you. Thank All right, Karam? All right. Nice talking to you, Karam. You All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah? All right. Look after yourself. Yeah? Anyway, here we'll wrap up. Okay. Okay, my brothers and sisters, we will wrap up, inshallah. We had a, a very um, interesting discussion with Kalam. We ask Allah to guide him to the right path. And as well, this something people, uh, you will find some people, by the way, will be always say, living to say what we call it, always doubting about everything. 
Oh, this is not right. We sometimes, there is always, because we are limited in our, in our intellectual ability. So that's why not everything is we doubt about it. We have to find if there is a truth, if there is something, a sense of the truth in something, then in that case we have to discover more and to understand and to follow the truth. We ask Allah to guide us all to the right path. Jazakumullah khairan, subhanakallah wa bihamdik. Nashhadu an la ilaha illa, nashakuru wa tubu